morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, November 18th, 2013. We're recording from London today. If you're listening to this on the radio and want to watch it on TV, go to www.cadex.com. We have a plane crash today. A Boeing 737-700 went down about 270 miles southeast of Moscow. The plane was flying from Moscow. Uh, to the Russian city of Kazan. It was operated by Tatarstan Airlines. All 50 people on board were killed. It was the plane's fourth attempt to land at the airport. Apparently, a son of the president of Russia was on board the plane. President Putin, of course, is ordering an immediate investigation. Meanwhile, in the United States, a deadly series of tor tornadoes rampaged through the Midwest, killing six people. Uh, the storms were so intense that by the time they hit Chicago, the National Football League contest between the Chicago Bears and uh, another team was forced to be suspended for three hours and the stadium evacuated. The uh, game, in fact, did continue. There was a train crash uh, south of Cairo uh, yesterday that killed some 24 people uh, when the train collided with a series of wedding party buses that somehow had unusually stopped at the crossroads, possibly turned into a mass suicide. Uh, meanwhile, in uh, Damascus, Syria yesterday afternoon, there was a tremendous explosion under an army barracks that killed some 31 people. Had the explosion occurred today on Monday, the death toll supposedly would have been over 200. Syrian rebels immediately claimed responsibility for the blast. And in Colorado, there was a mining accident in southwestern Colorado early yesterday that killed two miners. Uh, the mine was uh, the uh, Revenue Virginia's mine, about seven miles south of the town of Ore. Uh, the mine operators have no comment. Apparently, uh, gases were released inside the mine following an incident involved, uh, involving explosions. And here's interesting news from Pakistan. The Pakistani government intends to put former President Pervez Musharraf on trial for treason, for declaring a state of emergency and suspending the Constitution while in power. Musharraf, of course, lived a life of luxury in London for about two years before mysteriously deciding to return to Pakistan to run for president. Not only did he lose the election, but he may yet be sentenced to hang. And in the United States, for uh, reinsurance purposes, not to be forgotten, embattled American insurer Tower Group has written to so-called valued business partners that it uh, intends to be able to repay all of its bank debts and secure its future as a going concern. The founder and CEO of the company, Michael Lee, wrote a letter saying that he believes the company has options to raise funds to pay back the $70 million that fall due at the end of May next year. Michael Lee is the only person who believes that, at best has lowered their rating and their business partners are fleeing. And in Warsaw this morning, the state-of-the-art Warsaw subway train caught fire, forcing the evacuation of some 200 people. Uh, the uh, train is called the Inspiro. It's made by the German company Siemens. It's considered to be among Europe's most modern subway trains. 200 people were uh, lifted out of the tunnels this morning. Uh, another eight were taken to the hospital. All five of Warsaw's and Spiro trains were yanked out of service until the malfunction could be determined. As I said, we're in London. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. If not, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.